Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ugu and today we are going to do a very, very, very quick video and uh, it's just a follow up of the last video that I made on the news for December where I talked a little bit about the layer uh, level three uh, tests that Xpeng is already starting and I got my hands on a couple of videos um, of those uh, tests and one of them it's very peculiar and very nice to see the amount of information that goes from um, our cars and I decided to make just these very quick videos to show you what this is all about so uh, let me go already and start playing these videos for you guys so guys here we are uh, let me already play here it's a very very quick uh, clip that I received so this is the activation of the self-drive as you can see here on the image it was activated and then it's this is just a straight line walk through it's what it, what we already have okay but in this case is autonomous so the system will not complain that it is not being um, uh, touched the wheel by a driver okay so and the only thing that it's somehow different one of what we already have it's the next clip that the car just founds here an obstruction so a lane that it's occupied and automatically and without any interaction it will move to the other lane so that it can continue the trip again this is still in highways but the difference is that this is fully autonomous driving so let me uh, just read what I got um, with these uh, clips okay so that we understand what is in stake here so basically Xpeng secured the level 3 autonomous driving road test permits in Guangzhou while its technological reserves and evolutionary goals are already targeting level 4 so basically the big topic here is not what we saw in the video uh, that it's somehow something that we already saw in many other videos that Xpeng already published but until now even though that the technology already do this type of stuff it's always still supervised okay the cars are always complaining if the driver is not touching uh, in a couple of seconds the wheel drive and in this case this is already level 3 so this is an authorization that Xpeng got for Guangzhou region uh, where the, they are located uh, for the official tests uh, so they have a permit to do level 3 tests even though that as you know Xpeng is already targeting level 4. Let me continue here with the information so at the 2025 technology day so the AI days that we so already also in the channel Xpeng officially launched the VLA 2.0 model with level 4 capabilities and this software is expected to be mass produced and installed on vehicles in the first quarter of 2026 so very close next three months in 2026 so still next year Xpeng plans to roll out mass produced models whose hardware and software both meet the level four level autonomous driving standard so the big news here is that not only they are now being testing the level three software technology they are already with the VLA 2.0 as I have mentioned before and we saw already in some other videos they are already anticipating the release of this software in the models that will support it we still don't have information on and if these will come to overseas market for the current configuration so the old ones and the facelift ones so the second topic and you already saw a little bit of that is just a situation that occurred while they were testing the VLA 2.0 let me explain what happened so uh, VLA 2.0 achieved another technological breakthrough during road testing uh, basically when encountering a drunk driving check so basically police in the road checking for drivers for uh, if they are drunk or not the vehicle automatically recognized the gesture signal slowed down and then stopped to wait for the driver to take the breathalyzer test it did not independently accelerate and pull away until it recognized another gesture indicating permission to pass so this entire process of recognition comprehension and interaction was completely without any human takeover so 
Let's now look at the clips so that we can understand what I have just described here that was uh, presented by XBank. So let's continue here on the video. So here we are. So we see here, this is the first images. So the car is moving. He identifies here the police, as you can see. Okay, police. And it stops. And then it moves after they say to move. Okay, now we have just the front camera so that we can see the amount of information that it's being processed, okay? Just let me just stop here. You can see that there are a bunch of codes. Uh, there is some information here that I don't even understand what it is, but we see here that this is identification of a person. There is here also Sedam, Sedam here writing. Um, we can see here, so person, truck here. So it seems that while the car is walking, um, uh, it is identifying everything. As you can see, it's identifying a lot of boxes. So everything uh, in front. And not only that, because you saw in the previous video that it's also taking information from the cameras on the sides. But the main information is coming from the, the front camera here. And it identifies the type of vehicle, um, so not, not only if it is a pedestrian, but a type of vehicle, and then processes the information based on what it is seeing. So it says here person and then something here that I don't understand, MCDO. Okay, you see here also some information that probably is related to the uh, path that the car is doing here. So a lot of information. I do love these guys. I, I, I am. Uh, I do love this type of uh, information uh, because I think this is amazing. So you can see the lanes, the draw of the lanes here, the information, and then everything that the car is identifying, the movement. So do the roads. This is the tires. So the front and rear tires. So this is it, guys, a couple of info that I received from XBank, and I believe that it's also important to share with you guys so that you are also aware of what is happening and what XBank is doing. And I don't know, at least for me, I do love this type of stuff to understand how the systems work behind. So I would love to get uh, a very geek uh, uh, information and uh, interview and understanding how the systems work and how the cars then decide to do A, B or C based on what they are seeing. If this is uh, a couple of models already predefined, so if I see these, then I do Y. Um, or if this is um, more advanced than that, I believe that it's more advanced than that, but I don't have that information. So. Again, this was just a small introduction of VLA and uh, how the car is seeing things and the breakthroughs that XPeng is achieving. Probably you will see this and say mm, nothing special because this is more of a background and sometimes what happens in the background, it is a lot, but we as a customer, as a owner, we don't see that uh, then in real life, we don't value that, but it is a lot of effort. So. Guys, anyway, it's there. You already saw, you have the same information that I have, and this is my objective in this channel. So thank you very much again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.